Hi, welcome to Watercolors with Sonia Mosnick. I am uh, demonstrating in this video about the coloring pages that I have available. I have done several different types of coloring pages which I enjoy and this one is about um, waterfront around the silk purse. It uh, has 15 different pages of things like flowers, um, some of the park, some of the waterfront, things that happen around the gallery, including a little bit of the gallery where you can even create your own canvas that somebody's holding up from the gallery. And uh, you can enjoy these different things, including what you see behind me, which is a guy biking along Argyle. And what that is one of the scenes that is actually in the coloring pages. So I'm going to show a little bit of the coloring pages for you and uh, some of my reference materials so that you can get ideas for what you want to do. You can use either permanent markers, watercolor, or pencil crayons. Hi and welcome everybody. These are a little bit of a background to my watercolor uh, pages. They'll either come in a package uh, like this with the zip or they'll come in a clear package like this with the zip. And so basically they're individual sheets of a um, hundred pound paper and they're nice and heavy. So I'm just going to pull them out so I can show them to you. So good quality so that you can paint and, and do anything you want with them and they're going to they're not going to ripple and stuff like that. Uh, especially if you're using permanent marker, they're, they're not going to seep through and things. So this is my first painting uh, image that I have, which is a picture of the silk purse from the back of the building. And the uh, people involved, Steve and Stephen and uh, Jennifer, were out in the back when we were doing an event that... Uh, was part of the West Vancouver Arts Council and uh, Stephen is holding an actual canvas that we had done a picture on and this is an opportunity for you to be part of the gallery and actually paint your own image whatever you'd like and you can even enjoy painting some of the images back in there behind you and behind the sign inside the actual gallery so that's our one of our images and then I have the um, barge coming through just under before the Stanley Park very simple scene. This is Stanley Park here with some of uh, Point Grey in the background, a little bit of sky, a little bit of water, and you can paint your barge any color you like to. Um, then there's the clematis, and I happen to actually, this is from the community garden, um, to have a picture here that I can show you. And this one is the, they have these beautiful um, growing pillars, and I'm just going to show you the picture right here now that are in a kind of, they're kind of a wood that is a little bit more on the grayish side now because of all the weathering. And this clematis is more of a purplish burgundy color, but they're also purple in there and things like that too. So you'll find that there are some of the leaves which are on the nice sap green side. Um, and in the background, you could keep it just simple or you could add a little bit more light green to it or keep it more on the brown side. Um, these are larger uh, open clematis that you see and there are a few vines going up and I tried to get a few small uh, buds and a few other leaves in there. So that's the clematis. Then we have our heart shaped image on the beach which is just amazing. So this is the painting I did of that. Um, and you've got your Stanley Park in the background, you've got your water, you've got a little bit of wave action going on here, some rocks, a little bit of log, um, some grasses growing up, and this beautiful shape that they managed to find. And then we have an old Ambleside house here that I took uh, during one of the Harmony Arts events. And this image I kept, and then I have added in a whole garden at the front because it used to be, uh, there was it used to be on the side a community garden as well. So I'm just going to show you the image that I actually did of this. I made it into a blue. Uh, that's what the color originally was of the house with the brown roof. And then they had a lot of sweet peas in the front. The shutters were white. So that gives you an idea for that one. 
Then we have the Oregon grape, which has water droplets on it. And this is something I've been exploring as part of a whole series. And these leaves right here have some really great water droplets that you can do. And the idea with the water droplets is that you'd have some dark areas and some light areas and a little bit of white. And there's a bit of a shape to them with curves and things like that. It's a great opportunity to try that and to try some green. There's also a bit of dried fern on the top. Then we have a very busy one, which is biking along Argyle. And I love this picture because this guy is red. There's some fall colors back here, and the cars are pretty much a mixture of black and gray. And I'm just going to show you what that came out like in watercolor. So you can see that the white color of the car there is just in the center, and it off sets all the black on the either side. Now we use Payne's gray for that, but you can use and select any kind of color you want. It's a gray pavement. You can make it into a spring scene, fall scene, winter scene, whatever you like. So there's the bike going down Argyle. Now this is fun because it's simple, but I was thinking more sunset. This is a little bit of the Lighthouse Park, and I'm actually seeing it from across on the other side, it's, uh, which is Jericho Beach. And there's a sailboat, so you can have fun doing that. I did that in a card image. And I'm just going to show you that with a little bit of fun putting in some coloring and everything in there into the flag of the um, big sail on the sailboat. So that gives you an idea. And then we move on to our beautiful tree. And there is a special name for this tree. I can never remember it. And it's to the right of the silk purse. And I'm just going to show you another version of that image right there. And this tree is just absolutely gorgeous, burgundy, uh, deep scarlet brown, all sorts of things, depending on the time of year it is. And you can actually catch a little bit of the sunset, depending on what time of the year it is. It'll kind of flicker through here. Um, and this is where just uh, just beyond here, where the Stanley Park is, is, is where the Lionsgate Bridge is. And this is a great scene. There's so many things almost happening there. In this scene I have, uh, it's from Harmony, where the uh, part of the Millennium Park had been actually um, changed into a nice eating area with the food trucks. And I, I was in the community garden, which is just across from it, and these were all the sweet peas that were there. So this is a rendition of it. This is the actual image here. I'm just going to try and open it up for you. There we go. And where the ladies were. And now this lady is now over here. So you can see her because she's kind of taken away by all the foliage and then you can see a little bit of what we were trying with the umbrellas getting some shadows and uh, keeping these people in in the shadowy environment that they were in but it, you could have a lot of fun playing with that I love the uh, kids park at uh, John Lawson Park which is right next to the silk purse and this is one of the scenes where they have the setup for the tickets for the train so this is the actual image that I got in fall one year, which I love. And then um, this is a card that I actually did, did by hand that uh, is available at the silk purse as well. Um, and it just gives you a fun idea of what it can be like. This is more natural setting where there's the trees and, and the foliage in the background, whereas I did more fun things with this particular image. And I put kids into the scene which you could certainly do, but in this case I chose not to. And then there's another part of that train, which I haven't had a chance to really explore, but I wanted to, at least getting a drawing done, was the actual train set that's behind this ticket booth. And there's some really nice cedars and a Douglas fir there with a little bit of a greenish background. There's a pathway that goes around, and it's a great little venue. These trains are also in the red, reddish brown that are in the ticket booth. Then we have some of the apple blossoms that are uh, part of uh, the community garden. There's a little apple tree next to just the beginning of the community garden and I've painted this and I wanted to show you some of the colors that you can experience with that. You can keep it mostly white with a little bit of um, permanent rose or burgundy or pink, a little bit of yellow and burnt sienna in the stamens and of course a nice sap green for the leaves and you can keep it just neutral around the outside with a gray or you could keep it uh, white whatever you feel like 
just some ideas. Now this is a great picture because this eagle actually landed in front of the silk purse about seven years ago and I happened to be painting outside on a rainy day with another um, plein air painter and I made a few images of this. He he actually had something in his talons but I didn't draw that in here. Um, so he's standing on the rocks which are it must have been low tide because there was a lot of seaweed and things on the and there was a fairly stormy sky and this is a little bit of Stanley Park just on the edge just to give you a little bit of the background. When I originally took the picture, I was so focused on the eagle that you don't see any of that. You just see the water behind, and it's really hard to distinguish exactly what's going on. So you can have a lot of fun. He's got a beautiful white head. His tail feathers were white. He had very dark um, legs. And this area is kind of a mixture of light gray and dark gray. More dark up here. You have a lot of fun with that. And I'm just going to flip over to, this is our last one which is a picture along the uh, Ambleside area where they have, um, actually it's close to where the ferry building is, but the pathway continues and then stops and breaks up and then goes on to the Millennial Park. But one of the things is there's a crows always inevitably around that area and some really funky trees and always there's a light standard somewhere with a hanging basket and some public art. So, and the benches, which I love, which have curved handles. So these, particular images are all um, easy for you to transfer onto watercolor paper if you wanted to do that too. Um, it's just a great way of sharing some time together if you want to get a group together and everybody can pick one of their own coloring pages to work on and have some fun with and enjoy. So thank you and some of the packages do contain permanent markers. Um, and others just don't come with anything because you may have already coloring material that you would like to use. They're available during the crawl as well as at the Silk Purse Art Shop during their artisan market. And anytime, if you want to uh, contact me at sonyamosnick at gmail.com, you will be able to um, get me and ask if you need to find out where you can purchase these. Looking forward to the crawl and looking forward to you enjoying your coloring pages. Thanks.